Hello, I'm David Boyer, Danfoss Service Training Coordinator, and I'm going to explain the end of curve feature, or also called broken pipe protection. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. Okay, end of curve protection. It's also called broken pipe protection. End of curve monitors speed versus process feedback signal. So it's only available in closed loop control or process control because it depends on that feedback signal. In pumping systems, leaks or broken pipes make it impossible to achieve set point pressure. So if a drive is running at full speed and pressure is below the set point, end of curve function will take the chosen action. There's only three parameters directly involved in configuring this feature. You've got parameter 2250, that's the end of curve function. What do you want the drive to do in this situation? Parameter 2251 is the end of curve delay. How long do you want the drive to be in that condition before taking that action? And then 2252 is the end of curve tolerance. How much below? Let's look at them in reverse order. This would be the three steps to configuring this feature. First off, parameter 2252, define how low the feedback signal must fall when running at full speed. And this is a percentage of maximum speed. 2251, define the wait time before taking action. How long do you want it to be at full speed and that much below set point? And then 2250, choose from a list of actions to take. These are two very important cautions. Do not let the uh, end of curve alarm to be automatically reset. Otherwise, you would just keep running into that broken pipe or that leak situation. And for drives with bypass configurations, do not enable automatic bypass. That would cause uh, the motor to be run directly off the line in that condition, and that would not be good. Okay, let's see how this works. Here I have a drive. It's programmed in closed loop. It's got a simulated 0 to 100 PSI pressure transmitter showing the feedback signal here. It's got a set point of 50 PSI shown here. Both here and here we can see the speed that the drive is running. It's also configured so that when the relay activates it'll show relay up here. The relay is programmed for end of curve. Here in the MCT-10 let's look at the pertinent parameters down here in the uh, 22 group application functions if you look down to the 22-5 there's the three end of curve parameters going from the bottom up end of curve tolerance that's a percent it's a percent of full feedback in this case 100 psi so two and a half percent uh, of 100 would be two and a half psi meaning that if the drive is running at full speed and it cannot get the pressure to within two and a half PSI of set point, it declares that to be an end of curve situation. I'm going to change that to 10. It might make a better illustration. And instead of uh, delaying for 10 seconds, let's make it four seconds. It'll make a quicker demonstration. And now, right now, the uh, end of curve function is off. That's the default value. Let's look at the choices. You can choose warning, alarm, manual reset and alarm, or stop and trip. Let's just see how they act one at a time. We'll program this for warning. So the drive would continue running. Uh, it'll show the end of curve warning, and we'll see that it'll uh, activate the relay. So the drive's taken off and ramping up to speed. The pressure is low. It's trying to build pressure up to set point. I'll simulate that pressure rising up to set point. And once I get there, it should uh, steady out in speed because it figures, well, that's the speed I need to go to make my 50 PSI. Um, with this set at 10%, that's 10 PSI, if the pressure should drop to less than 40 PSI while running at full speed, we should get our end of curve situation. So let's just drop the pressure down. We'll go to 41 and watch that speed wind up. It's trying to build that pressure back up, but it can't. It's running into a broken pipe. If this should drop lower than 40, then it's going to wait this four seconds before it shows. 
end of curve warning still running at 60 hertz but it's activated the relay you could also uh, activate a digital output or serial com can pick up on that or you can use end of curve as an argument at the smart logic but it'll keep on running now rather than warning let's say we program that for alarm and let's stop and start again ramping back up pressure is low let's get it above 40 it's going to slowly wind up to 60 hertz now this time when i hit the uh, end of curve trip condition notice up here what the speed does you're running along and suddenly you can't make pressure because uh, you got a broken pipe the pressure drops below the threshold you're at full speed and four seconds later it shows the alarm it triggers the relay and it immediately dropped to zero speed now what happened here the the alarm automatically reset and it's taking off again because the auto reset function is set to infinite automatic reset remember you don't want to do that you don't want to keep starting into that broken pipe so what do you do about that well let's look at the next choice of end of curve function alarm manual reset and alarm if we choose that uh, your drive can automatically reset any other alarms but this one in particular it will not so once that winds up to 60 Hertz again with the pressure below the trip threshold dump that way down so it really ramps up more quickly four seconds later it shows the trip triggers the relay drops immediately to zero and it will not reset automatically it'll require a manual reset and once I do that it takes off again let's give it a stop and let's look at our next choice here you can choose to have the drive stop and trip what's the difference between stop and trip and alarm it still goes into an alarm state but it gives a stop command meaning that it's not going to instantly drop down to zero Hertz it's going to follow a ramp down time maybe you've got a check valve ramp designed in there or an end ramp or a post lube or maybe you want this drive to not just drop to zero speed so it's at full speed the pressure is low it trips and it's following the ramp down time so again remember you do not want to allow that end of curve alarm to be automatically reset and you do that either by checking manual reset and alarm or by turning off your auto reset make sure you do not have automatic bypass enabled so that's the end of curve feature thank you for listening thank you for viewing we hope this information has been helpful dan foss drives can provide additional technical support parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call 1-888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.